Originally, when we were introduced to the pen tool, we would take the pen tool and we learned how to create straight paths by simply clicking whatever corners we wanted and closing our path if we wanted to by going back to the original anchor point. Now today, we're going to be doing curved paths or something called Bezier curve. They're just a curved line as opposed to a straight line. Now, same idea using the same tool. The only difference is that I don't simply click and release with my mouse. I click and I hold. And when I hold and pull, I'm going to see this little like seesaw handle thing. And let me zoom in a little closer here. This is what throws people off really because now there's three dots. The original anchor point is square and the two little circular handles that come out are Bezier curves. They basically tell you how long your curve's gonna be or how short, what direction you're going in, to the left or to the right, or up or down, right? and how extreme your curve's gonna be. It's gonna be a giant, crazy curve, or it's gonna be a smaller, more manageable curve. Right? So all the difference is, is that now I'm creating curve paths, and every time I want a curve path, I click and pull. There's a little bit more to it than that, but that's where we're going to start off with. So let's look at our activity for the day. What I've done for you to start off with here is I've kind of reminded you what each cursor means. So in case you're working today, you get confused, refer to this little um, graph. Now let's start with this first symbol here. You're basically drawing a circle, but with the pen tool. And I've numbered everything and given really explicit instructions just till we get comfortable with the tool. Now it says click and press here, holding down the shift button key. So let's put our mouse right over the first circle with the pen tool. I'm going to click hold shift and then it says drag to here and release. So I'm going to drag to that green button that says number two and release. What this is doing is creating a really really um, manageable curve. Students get confused and click here but now you have this weird wonky line. We're not doing that. We're just bringing the handle to the green circle. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to click down on number three, hold shift, drag to where it says number four, and release. We're going to repeat that for five. Click on five, hold shift, drag to number six. Click on seven, hold shift, drag to number eight. Last thing we're missing is to close our shape. So we're going to start off just going right back to that first circle, clicking on one, dragging to two. Now we have basically a perfect circle we've drawn. The reason why I wanted to show you that is that you can kind of see that the shorter and more manageable your little handles are, the better your shapes will come out. People have a habit of pulling really hard on the pen tool with bezier curves and they end up with these crazy long handles that make it really difficult to draw. The shorter, the more control you're going to have. For part two, we're going to do something similar, but this time we're going to create curves that look like a wave. So let's go back to our pen tool. We're going to start off the same idea. We're going to click and hold where it says one, hold shift. Shift is just keeping our handle straight. That's all it's doing for us. If I don't hold shift, I can manually keep it straight, but it's just easier. I'm going to go to number two and release my mouse. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to number three, click and drag downward while holding shift. Release to four, click and down to five, click and drag downward to six, right? All the numbers kind of give you the direction. Now right now I have a fill, which is why this looks really weird. I also need to end this line. Anytime you're done drawing that you have a open path instead of a closed shape, you want to hit the enter button or the return button on your keyboard. I want to swap the fill and the stroke. I'm going to put the fill green and I'm going to get rid of the stroke. Now I have a line. If I find my line is too thin, I can select it and make this little number here where it says stroke larger. I like to put it at 0.25. I just think it reads really well. And now I've created this like cool curve with a pencil. For the next section, I'm not giving you numbers to tell you where to put anchor points, but I'm still providing a little bit of support here with these little blue circles showing you where your anchor points should be located. So we're still using our pencil and we're still using the same technique we were using before, clicking and dragging. And we're gonna put our anchor points right where I show you the little circles are. Since this is a really short curve, it's nothing like, it's not a crazy curve. I can keep my line pretty short. I'm gonna click and drag again. And I'm really going to try to match this little red line here to that green line, okay? I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to pull. I'm going to make this a different color just so you can see what I'm working on. And I'm going to go to the next pen uh, path here, this little anchor point, click and pull. And again, you never see my mouse doing like crazy things. I'm very gentle with how far I pull my anchor points and my bezier curves just so I have the most control. And I'm clicking and pulling again. Now some of my line, I'm going to hit enter to end it, isn't matched up. But we learned the other day, if we take our direct selection tool, we can click an anchor point, 
and pull little handles around to make things line up nicely. So please feel free to do that. Like if you don't get it perfect, I didn't get it perfect, so I'm gonna go with my direct selection tool and just like move a handle or two over. And again, subtle movements, nothing crazy. You're gonna repeat that technique for the same one here. Um, and then when you're done with that section, you're gonna try to trace out this little gingerbread man. And Get, as, get the curves as correct as you can, but feel free to use the white arrow after you're done to refine your drawing. Be patient with the pen tool, it is a process, but you will get better with more practice. Good luck.